I picked this up at a XRB store for $11 and I'm keen to give it a crack. Well, I'm out here, Bob! You dirty bastard! Oh, you wanker. Lucky I had me fish in a plastic bag that's my breakfast and he just peed on it. Bob, you're just like your father, Jim. You're a dirty old bastard. Poe's on heat right now, so he's pissing on everything. I was fucking lucky. That's my breakfast, you prick. He doesn't know. Anyway, that's it. Cool, eh? And you've got these little burners inside, but you could probably stick bits of wood and stuff in there too. So I might save this. This is the fuel. But I might just try putting little bits of wood in there and save that for when I'm in a place where there is no dry wood, like in a place where it's raining. So we'll crank into it and see how it goes. Bob, bugger off. It's my table. The last few days we've just been eating herrings, because that's what I've been catching. That's a good size herring. That's awesome bro, many thanks. Nice shot, excellent. No worries. Good on you. <laughs> Thank you for the fish. You're welcome bro. I think I will cut it in two pieces. Yeah. Put it on the grill. Yeah. Enjoy. What I've got in this plastic bag here is a mixture of some old breadcrumbs and some dill, a bit of garlic, dry it up, uh, some salt, pepper, a bit of cracked chilli, some dried garlic, did I say that? There's my herring and I've gutted it and cleaned it. I'm just going to put that in there and give it a good old shake up. Make it taste a bit more interesting. I'll stick it on my new fire, which seems to be going pretty good. Yeah. Glad I didn't use that fuel because I can use that somewhere else. Nice. That made the desired sound. I've got a little bit of beef fat in there. I'm cooking it in. This cooker's working really well. I'm finishing off this fish by smoking it. Doesn't need much, just add a bit of a uh, few carcinogens. Epic. Absolutely delicious. I love this little cooker, it's bloody amazing, isn't it? Get so every day when I was paddling out to the wharf at Motawaka, I noticed there was this white faced heron, don't eat my stuff, and it was had a wee nest underneath the wharf with three eggs in it. Three beautiful blue eggs. And yesterday when I paddled out, I noticed that the heron was actually standing and not sitting, and I thought, well maybe they've hatched. So I waited till she uh, flew, and because I don't have a proper GoPro thing with me at the time, I tried to film the chicks and I, I think I got close. It's pretty awesome. There's two hatched and one still to come. Anyway, I got a few questions that I want to answer that I would only answer on my Patreon account, personal ones, some funny ones. One comes from a bloke that uh, used to, he's a caregiver for one of the young fellows we took out, and he, he asked the young fellow we took out, is Adventure Dan and Clay gay? <laughs> I told. Uh, I said this to Dan, I said, what do you reckon? Dan pissed himself. Well, if we were gay, it wouldn't matter a rat's ass, because we're in 2018 now, but we're definitely not. For that guy that asked that question, he's not on my Patreon, so he's not going to get his answer, but what amuses me is, what do we portray that makes people think that, you know? Because we're two men out in the bush having fun. Fuck it if I know. Hilarious. <laughs> Another thing I got asked was, uh, about my relationship with my dad and the truth is that um, I've really only got to know my dad in my later years and I've made a real effort to because dad was at sea a lot when I was younger. I went hunting with him once when I was on my fifth birthday I can remember and he took me fishing and he made me this awesome speedboat when I was five but 
he was a ranger and he was away most of the time and then my parents broke up when I was 10. So I got to know him in my later years and I have a fantastic friendship with Dad today. I love seeing him and talking to him. He's even on my Patreon, he's even paying to watch my stuff. Hi Dad. <laughs> Which is cool. As far as meat goes and harvesting it, when my parents split up, I can remember being, when I was 10 years old, I remember we didn't have a lot of meat and Mum used to dish us kids up with meat but she wouldn't give herself any because it wasn't enough to go around and often I'd steal it off my brother's plate so I really value food and really yeah I, I appreciate it because I come from an area where we had enough to eat but I remember my mum didn't always I remember another Christmas where she bought a ham and we had a safe we used to keep stuff in and I remember the flies blew the ham and she was hiding her tears she was crying she just wept because we had nothing on that Christmas day so these little things of your past are why I really appreciate this sort of thing today. Being able to house my own food for my family, my friends. My son, Yorna, has left home. And uh, I really uh, noticed that we've got more meat in the fridge now because he ate a shitload when he was there. Anyway, the last few days I've been trying to catch a bloody kingfish. I've been out six times and I've had a few strikes. I've got this one fish on for a while and it uh, broke the bloody braid. Got a kingy on. Oh, I broke it. Snapped it. Must have rubbed against something on the bottom. I don't know how, but so I lost that fish. And then I had other ones that I hooked up on and got off. Lost him. He spat it. Uh, no, he's still on. He's got it again. He's on. Story. We lost it that time. Oh mate, the king he get you and spit you out, did he? So the hook didn't work. Shit. But uh, the highlight of the week was this, which I'll show you now, was this guy who was fishing on the bloody pier down at the wharf in Motawaka, this great big mouldy guy, and Something big came along and took his line. This guy lost his rod here. There it goes. It snapped the rod off at the bottom on the rod holder and took it out to sea. And I was out in the kayak and I could hear this big guy booming and shouting at me, bro, bro. So uh, watch what happens next anyway. Then it's stuck on the bottom, it's got a fish on it. Shit. It's not gonna work out well. It's got a fish on it, I think. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's have a roll. That one close by now. Yes. <sighs> Set me a tarp back up onto land. I don't go backwards, mate. There he goes, he's racing. Oh, and there's a bloody kingfish over there. This could go on for ages. that bloody barb there. They know how to use them. Not as easy as you look with a bloody surf car, so it's not designed for it. There you go, mate, there you go. There's a fucking stain in the back. Ugh, fuck off! That was close. He's <laughs> Right there. I want that bastard on me. Just slide forward and get me your shit. Can't know how to do this.
<laughs> Did you think it was a kingfish? I fucking didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, stingray, bro. I knew what my rod was gone, but. <laughs> Did it pull it out of the rod holder? Oh, yeah, it stuck the bottom of the rod, actually. Shit. Yeah, the fucking thing. So, it just pulled it off. Good old stingray. <laughs> It's still alive, I can release it if you want to eat it or oh, I can... No, no, release it, mate. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'll, I'll come up here and sort it out. <laughs> yeah, it was floating, you were lucky, man. Yeah. Normally they don't, eh? I actually seen it come from the top. Right. Okay. It's had a bit of a body piercing, but it should be okay. Just uh, somewhere I should have a tool for that. Oh, awesome, mate. Yeah. It's good you got it back, eh? Yeah, it's actually my wife. Oh, it's not yours? No. Well, you got a story to tell about now. <laughs> I'll have to get you a beer for that, mate. Well, it's worth a beer, bro. <laughs> no, you're good. It's a bit of fun for me anyway. Yeah, no, 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 no way, bro, no way, no, shit, no, <laughs> but thanks anyway, yep, yeah, no, there we go, that's out, thank you very much, mate, alrighty, so, uh, <laughs> we'll see if he's going to swim away, he's going to be alright, he's going to wee hole, but the, heel, the sea will heal him up pretty quick, yeah, yeah I'm Clay anyway, <laughs> cheers, mate, I'm Robbie, hey, Robbie, good to meet you, bro, yeah, he'll be alright, you just uh, get his breath back, it's a bit of funny, he's pulling me around there, yeah, yeah, well, I, I, the last three days I, I just I didn't had... think it was a king either way, it just fucking bent and it just took off, eh? I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what they do, eh? Yeah. I got a kingfish a while ago and I thought it was a, I thought it was a stingray and did exactly the same thing, so you could be understood for thinking it was a, a bloody uh, kingfish. Yeah, it was just a dead weight and it was just gone. Yeah. <laughs> I could see the birds all coming down on it and that in the water. Oh, okay. So what did it do? It snapped the end of your rod? Yeah. I had that in the holder then. Yeah, the fucking just bent and then bent and then bop, it was gone. So, who's, is it your mate, Rod? Yeah. Oh, he, he's going to get it back with just the end, <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this and give him a new one. Yeah, <laughs> just got to put a memories behind it, don't it? Good story. Okay, well, it's a good, a good luck one because he come back to you. Yeah, cheers, mate. See you, bro. Have a good day. Sean, yeah! You want to keep it, bro, or go back? Got an eye piercing now. Skills. <laughs> Jeez, he gave you some run, didn't he? That was a pretty cool experience. So I didn't hook into a kingy at the end of the day, but uh, not without lack of trying. Eat up. Hmm. This fish is bloody good. I always been teaching me how to use chopsticks. I used to hold them like that, but now I've gone to the correct way. I'm trying to, I'm trying to relearn, which is this way. I hold that like a pencil, and this one sits down here. And I'm, I'm <laughs> see this finger wants to go back down all the time. I'm, I'm failing miserably. There we go, that's the correct way to do your chopsticks. See that? Anyway, not much of a uh, exciting vlog this week. Just a, another week in the life of me. Hope your own harvesting of food's going well. Whatever you're doing, whether you're hunting with the bow, the rifle, the spear, the knife, you're trapping, netting, whatever you're doing, I hope it's going really well for you. 
and uh, you're keeping you and your family and your loved ones in fresh produce. Good luck out there and be good. And if you can't be good, which Bob certainly can't, can you Bob, eh? No, you can't. Pissing on my fish. And uh, be careful. You want some more, Bob? Yep, eat up. Eat up. Eat up. Good Bob. Eat up. Good dog. See you later. I feel so fine when I'm out on the water. I feel so fine, and it's a great way to spend my time. I feel so fine when I'm walking in the mountains. I feel so fine, it's a great way to spend my time. And I feel so fine when I'm floating down the river. I feel so fine when I'm looking for something new I feel so fine when I'm down here by the sea I feel so fine It's a great way to spend my time da -da 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 <laughs> I feel so fine by the campfire at night Looking at the stars, everything feels alright And I feel so fine when I'm wasting time Doing nothing, just letting myself unwind I feel so fine Aotearoa I couldn't get much slower Sitting here on the beach without a care I got my friends I got my family I got my simplicity I feel so fine living in Aotearoa I feel so fine living in Aotearoa I feel so fine living in Aotearoa I feel so fine